It's been said that the commitments you make can develop you or destroy you, but they will definitely define you. What you're committed to today is going to determine who you're going to be tomorrow. People that, that know God deeply have made the commitment to meet God daily. Let me give you a few examples. David says in Psalm chapter 5 and verse 3, My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. David's saying, look, I'm committed to spending time with God every morning. He also said, God, you're my God. Early, I'm going to seek you. I long for you. I thirst for you as in a dry and weary land. The people that know God deeply are the people that meet with God daily. Think about Jeremiah and all that he went through. And he, he, he lived in one of the hardest times to, to be a Jew. But yet he says, in the midst of all this, when I bring this to mind, I have hope. Though the Lord's mercies were not consumed, by His compassions we fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, He says. Therefore I hope in Him. Listen, the Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the soul who seeks Him. He's saying, look, you can have hope. You can experience God's faithfulness and God's mercies new and fresh every day, but you got to get him. You got to hope in him. You got to seek him. You got to spend time with him. People that know God deeply are the people that spend time with God daily. Think about Jesus. Mark chapter 1 recounts an incredibly busy, draining day in his life, but then it says a very interesting thing in Mark 135, but in the morning, the next day, Jesus rose a great while before day and went out to a solitary place and prayed. He prioritized spending time with his Father. Think about the Apostle Paul. He talked about the transformation that happens in our lives in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. And he says, as we spend time with God, we are transformed from glory to glory, little by little, bit by bit more and more day after day we are transformed from glory to glory through his holy spirit the holy spirit changes us as we spend time with god i love to read the biographies of of great impactful christian leaders i wrote a book one time on 75 great christian leaders and found that they all have one common denominator they had extraordinary prayer lives all of them had time that they spent with God every day. Many of them an hour, some of them two hours, some of them more than that. The, the very influential George Mueller fed 10,000 orphans during his lifetime by faith. Uh, had incredible impact in so many lives. He found that, that he would spend an hour in the morning with God and an hour at night with God. When he was 70, he said he had read through the Bible 200 times on his knees. Hudson Taylor, incredibly impactful missionary, reaching the unreached people in inland China. At the end of his life, there, because of his life, there were 18,000 Chinese Christians where they hadn't been before. There were 300 mission stations, 100 drug rehabilitation centers, 150 schools. His life made a difference. His biographers said that he had a commitment to spending two hours a day with God. And to, to not be disturbed, he would do it between 2 and 4 a.m. in the morning. He told his children when he was older, he said, I just finished reading the Bible through 40 times in the last 40 years. The people that do great things for God, the people that know God deeply, are the people that spend time with God daily. Your commitments are going to define you. They can either develop you 
where they can destroy you depending on what you're committed to. What you're committed to today is going to determine who you're going to be tomorrow. I'm asking you to make a commitment to spend time with God every day. You will never, ever regret it.